you guys already know what time it is. Mercury retrograde starts today. And guess who was late because the camera didn't want to turn on. Welcome, welcome. So, <laughs> I think I set myself up good. I ain't tripping over anything. Grand Rising. I already pulled out the cards because there's a lot to talk about. So, um, yes. I hope everybody's doing good. <laughs> that was my sister. She was making sure that I was on. Thank you, Leatis. There was Mercury. I was on um, this camera, uh, set it up. It's not new, I'm just using a better view for us. And it was acting up. Okay, so welcome, welcome. If you have, I already pulled out the cards. I meditated, put out, pulled out all our cards because we don't have time to waste. It's a lot going on, a lot going on. And next week is going to be quite intense, so any group meetings um yeah it's gonna be i mean the last two weeks has been quite in a friction for all of us so it's more of that is coming um we will have some passive times during the weekend but i'm gonna say wednesday thursday and saturday it is going to be quite oh you can't hear oh god <laughs> Oh, it's your phone. Girl, I was about to say, here we go, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> All right, cool. So, it definitely is a lot. So, there's going to be three retrogrades in this year. Mercury retrograde talks about the planet being still in the universe, but to the point of view of ours, is allegedly going backwards but it's just because we keep moving and that planet just stays still so it's going to be an aquarius now and then it's going to hit the other two um i feel ashy <laughs> it's going to hit the other two um air signs so this year is a lot of mental mental i'm hearing mental motivation like we have to get out the old way we are thinking Grand Rising, Amy. Oh, yes. Happy birthday to your daughters, ah, to the twins. Happy birthday, twins. I hope that you guys had an amazing day. And I know your moms took you guys, I don't know where, but y'all look like y'all was having fun. And y'all look cute with y'all ponytails. Happy birthday. All right. That's my, um, I, I do. You know what? I'm going to tell y'all something. I felt like I had a vacation. My sister let me stay over her house. And it felt like a vacation. It's just five minutes away, but it really felt like, you know, wow, I'm in a different space. So thank you. Um, so with Mercury and retrograde, what are we gonna talk about? We're talking about freedom. Aquarius is that planet. I mean, that all right, Uranus is the planet that coordinates with Aquarius. So right now, Uranus is in Taurus. And by Uranus being in Taurus and all of the planets being in Aquarius, there's a lot of friction happening right now. So our five senses are being awakened right now. We're asking to be in tune with ourselves. Our mind is going to be fucking with us. Like, literally. You have Mercury, who is like the lower mindset, right? Right now, a lot of communications are going to be fucked up. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, no. It's going to be people are not going to understand i mean it happened to me yesterday uh just a little bit and i asked my car should i do it and they said no and i still went and did it right i should have listened and there was friction with communication it was very s small and it got fixed really quick but it was just like you know i got in my 3d world and i almost got aggressive but i was just like hold up it's mercury retrograde like let it be so right now you're going to catch yourself a lot doing one of those oh i'm about to and then you got to pull yourself back because this is what's happening your mind is uh, reminding you and showing you what needs to shift so that you don't be in that space so um we're talking about freedom um with 
talking about not going back to the choices that we've made so during these next three weeks um until like about february 21st we want to sit there and we want to think about um what is not making us feel good what is making us feel uncomfortable right and we also have to give the ability for us to use our free will right what is free will free will is pretty much um our our way to make decisions right a lot of times spirits don't involve when you be like help me help me or you know because we all do it i'll be like y'all need to come down and help me all right so i'm not just talking about y'all i'm talking about me too like we ask them to come and help us but we have to ask and get permission to receive assistance we are different kind of species where we are able to make a choice and when we make that choice it brings us to a different step of our lives so we all have free will we just kind of forgot how to use it so we got to come back to that and so this is what's happening with the mercury retrograde how are we connecting with ourselves how are we connected with others right do keep in mind that a lot of stuff like i said is going to be fucked up so traveling make sure that if you're traveling you should you have decided to do that um <laughs> don't do it <laughs> pack early leave early don't get road rage don't get airplane rage whatever the case might be because it's gonna be hectic go in there passive get some melatonin to be tuned out and chill out all right because at the end of the day there's a lot of reflections that's happening and we're projecting towards each other so we're gonna start blaming other people for things that we should have been fixing a long time ago you know so just keep in mind with that being said aquarius has is going to, by next week is going to have jupiter saturn venus um the sun and the new moon that's a motherfucking party in aquarius so your mind <laughs> is gonna be like this so you got to be ready to like, you know, write things down and just communicate with yourself, communicate with yourself so that you can be able to communicate with others. Because if you don't know how to communicate with yourself and you shitty talking to yourself, that's exactly what you're going to be getting in the outside. People are just going to be talking shit. All right. Whew. I told you guys a lot, but I pulled out the cards already. So we, we, we good timing. Should have got some water though. all right grand rising to all okay and let me see and also aquarius like i said it governs free will the universal love and basically everything that's universal so right now we could be thinking about ourselves but remember what's good for you is what good for what's good for you is what's good for others so at the end of the day don't just think about yourself at this time think about other people but start with yourself because again once you start aligning yourself to who you truly are and believe in yourself knowing that you may not know what's going to happen five minutes from now but you know that something fire is about to happen and you can feel it like go with that feeling like i said our five senses are going to be waking up so a lot of us are going to be like oh my god how did i know that you're starting to get to know yourself so this is where it's at so again aquarius planet sign for the higher mind universal love liberation reflection mercury dealing with the lower mindset of the way we talk to ourselves our habits um and how we communicate with others all right that's a whole lot i told y'all but in addition to that uranus is doing a t-square when it's a t-square um pretty much it's friction so there could be some fights next week so i want y'all to be really careful with that um if you feel the urge, if you are an anger person, like I want you to, if you have seen this, to calm down, go meditate. I mean, learn a new skill. I mean, this is what it, this is what our mind is telling us. Let's learn a new skill to cope with what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So let's make better choices. I mean, even for myself, everybody always tells me that I'm aggressive. I'm, I'm aggressive in the way I talk and. I don't know how else to express myself so I, I have to meditate sometimes and then apologize to people because like even though i'm saying something good and it's good for them i don't i can't be pushing that on people just because i see that they're gonna do good like you know so we have to um learn how to communicate with people so that we can be able to have people around us you don't want to die by yourself right i mean i don't know i'm done all right so be careful with fights let's pull out a spiritual as fuck card it says love like people aren't total assholes perfect y'all can see that all right 
it says, of course you've been hurt. People can be stupid, selfish, destructive, fuck nuts. But choosing to live life with your dukes up, waiting for the asshole and everyone to come out, insulting you from the brilliance in people, you'll be a, f a force, I'm sorry, you'll be a force to be reckoned with if you love people with the tendency and fortitude of someone who's digging for gold in everyone. So, in other words, if people's being assholes, throw some fucking hearts on them niggas and keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to take the bullshit, but you do have to recognize that people are going through their own stuff and they don't know how to express it. Express it. And many of us also have not taken that step to go to therapy or to spiritually cleanse ourselves or cleanse our house. We, I mean, some of us, even me, has some stagnation energy where I haven't shift stuff in a while. All those things are in our auric field and we have to learn how to move that out of ourselves including understanding other people going through their shit. So imagine you understanding your shit and then having to have compassion for somebody who hasn't had the ability to understand that they're going through some shit. All right. Our message. <laughs> Forgiveness. Look at this. This could be more better. If that even went more better. I don't think that goes together, but whatever. Y'all know. So forgiveness, right here, you see the person as you sit in your truth and understand that some people may not be fucking with you anymore because they don't understand where you're coming from. You got to remember, you be by yourself sometimes and you get these thoughts and ideas and you might not be able to talk to other people about that and they may not understand you. So you can't like not want to be their friend anymore because they don't understand you. You got to have that love and compassion and forgiveness to know that, hey, you may not understand me, but at least respect what's um what i'm doing and if they can't respect what you're doing then that's when you can make that decision because people at the end of the day are supposed to respect you regardless of the decision that you make in your life because they gotta love you how you come right so forgiveness you could do uh i'm probably saying it wrong but the hawaiian um saying hopo ponono i might have said it wrong but it's i love you i thank you please no i love you thank you please forgive me I'm sorry. I just, oh, oh, can y'all hear me? Come on. Welcome back. And we just lost part one. Grand Rising Seychelle, how are you? Mm-hmm. Um oh. freaking Mercury. We love you. And so this is the type of stuff that's going to be happening for the next three weeks. So I was gonna say don't buy anything, don't like anything that has to do with electronics, you know check your bank account all the time right because there's gonna be glitches all right so th this is probably why i pulled out the cards because i knew some bullshit was gonna happen so all right my skin is glowing <laughs> i think it's the 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 ring light <laughs> thank you all right so let's go let's just get this over with because i'll be putting this on youtube and they don't mess up my first part i'm gonna have to do it again anyways aries so mercury 
is working so what we're going to be discussing today is what area of our life is mercury working on and how is that going to affect us for the next three weeks um especially with understanding that mercury does this thing where we have to go back and i'm here to read document review um reflection so there's a lot of that and with you aries you have the star card but this star card is um asking you to really step in to your emotions right now and this is um the star card is aquarius um so isn't it cute so if you have any aquarius friends um i would say go and chill with them because they do have some type of even just being next to them your insights um you know your senses are gonna expand i have a lot of aquarius friends i'm coming to visit all of you and so aries what they're asking you to do is to uh, flow allow yourself to flow let your emotions flow here you have two um ships that are um somewhat ghostly so you do have like new spirit guides coming in as well if you connect with um some of your um boop, boop, boop. if you do connect with spirit guides you have a couple of well i'm gonna say two but yeah, that's a couple right i guess i don't know two spirit guides are coming in to guide you so right now they're asking you to um you know even if you in an area where it's cold go by the river go by water release and even also during the new moon if you buy water you just go real quick and just um sit out there for like about five minutes and manifest and then come back to yourself but it's really for the next three weeks mercury is guiding you in your emotions and how you communicate with yourself and with others so in between this is the star and then the moon so connect with yourself um be like a cancer and so we're gonna be crying so Mercury is working your emotions and how you talk to yourself. Um, so just focus on your subconscious mind and how, like, you know, listen to the messages that are coming up because there are messages coming up so you can let go of how you've been mistreating yourself. All right, Taurus, in reverse, you have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, um, it talks about you um, dealing with some childhood, because I'm, I'm gonna just show it in the upright position. These are kids. And then these are adults and then hiding right behind this rock right here and so what you see there is two things some of you Taurus are dealing with your inner child and your inner child may be causing you to um do things that are not what you would feel the public would approve so you might be dating somebody that somebody i mean that's you might be dating someone who is not approved by your peers or the family so you guys are like hiding out and dating again but not saying anything and this mercury retrograde might um have you slip up and say something so just be your authentic self if you are dating somebody um who other people may not approve of i mean it's your life that's not for everybody for others of you um be play for the next three weeks it's dealing with your emotions in reverse so listen to your emotions harmonize your emotions um and then in addition to that you will see peace within your relationships not just your intimate relationships but with your friends and your family because you're starting to um balance your emotions so mercury is giving you access to communication to your emotions bringing harmony taurus so um also if some type of inner child darkness comes out allow that to come out because it's also giving you the answer that you need to build a better relationship with those around you so some of you guys act upon your childhood wounds and so this could come up during this time and then that's where your reflections come in so again it's about your emotions <laughs> thank you all right so we're going into gemini Gemini you have the two of swords right now so with the two of swords and this is in the upright position what I'm getting is that you some way somehow is trying to and swords is about communication right and then 
um, Mercury is about communication, right? And then with Mercury being about communication, being in Aquarius, another air sign, there's a lot going on for you um, in the spiritual aspects. Grand rising, everyone. Um, there's a lot going on for you in the spiritual aspect, but there's also some type of blockage that is going to try to get in your way, right? Because this person is not necessarily blocking you, but they're on their way of blocking you. So for, this could also be yourself. You may be seeing yourself growing and you're blocking yourself from moving forward because you may be scared or you just don't know what's on the other side because the other side seems so far and... Um, so far and i want to say dusty meaning like you know like when there's dust and you really can't see anything so you're trying to so a lot of you guys may be blocking yourself and some of you guys may also be getting blocked by other people um gemini um and when it comes to your mindset again i, I just got this blockage that's going to be happening for you and that's going to be in your mind because three is a mind body soul right so you haven't really yet been you haven't been able to articulate your words to communicate with other people right now and that's where you feel stuck all right that's for some people i'm also getting that it was best for you to sit back and not take any steps right now so that you can understand where you're going because here in the long run you guys might not be able to see it but there is a tall person over here all right let me see if i'll show you Oh, yeah. I'm not good at this, y'all. Right there. Anyways, there's someone tall there. I'll put the picture up. And so you could be sensing to want to leave a relationship for other Geminis of you. You might be longing for someone who is not too close to you right now. And then so you are being blocked by somebody else that you are dating currently. And you're sad about that. So for you guys, even though you have swords, it's about your relationship aspects is what you're going to be thinking about and that's what mercury is going to be um touching on so cancer the three of swords cancer the full moon this month is going to be very um it's going to be good for you so if you decide that you want to release something for the month of february with the full moon you're going to be able to be successful at that should you not know how to release um literally is writing whatever is bothering you whoever is bothering you on a piece of paper and burning it now if you cannot burn it um i would say tear it up and then just flush it down the toilet do anything that makes the paper disappear and that is a form of release because you intentionally energetically decided to put your intentions into something and that made it impactful for it to happen so for you guys um mercury is also going to be giving you a sense of wanting to work late night so you, your ideas are going to be coming in at late night um cancer you you're not going to be emotional at this current time you're going to be um, you got the three of swords so your mind body and soul so your your mind is currently giving you the ideas that you would need to build a foundation because then the next number is four this is the in between so write things down don't try to act like you all that and you can remember everything just write everything down any idea that comes in because for you what um they're giving you um, ideas so that you can be able to make some type of money if it's not to make some type of money it definitely is an idea to build something so cancer be sure to um write shit down and again in the nighttime some of you guys are really going to get those ideas in the nighttime your dreams could be popping so i have a dream journal next to you any answers that you've been looking for is going to be coming in those forms and it's more of a written form so if you're sitting down watching videos and shit like that and you want an answer for you the next three weeks is not going to come like that you got to step away and write down Leo, Leo, you got the fool, right? But this fool is a little bit different because the fool turns into the magician. So right now you are using your five senses, Leo. You are following directions in the sense of like, when I say that to you, because it's like, I guess you needed to hear it say follow directions because um, <laughs> I don't know why they had me say that. But 
you're, you're going to be using the next three weeks wisely because you're going to be blindfolded about it. You're just going to move forward and get to where you need to get. Some of you guys are leaving people behind without any form of caring. You're going to be, like I said, dropping everything. And you see this person? Let me see if I can come here. It's blindfolded, but it's ready to fly. I mean, not ready to fly. It is flying, right? So you, Leo, for me, you guys um, were able to use this full moon that just passed to liberate yourself from a lot. So you're feeling a little bit light right now. And you're feeling like, all right, shit has been fucked up anyway. So I might as well just go with the flow. And so that's the part that Spirit wanted you to do. And I mean, your higher self and all the whoever it is that you believe in was to let go. So by letting go and forgiving, you are truly walking in a path of not knowing where you're going. And, and so that brings awareness, right? Because when you allow, Leo, when you allow yourself to let go of the baggages of the people, of just anything that doesn't feel good anymore, even unfortunately, some of you guys have, are leaving your dog behind. And so that brings you to a space of detachment. So that's what Aquarius does. Aquarius is a, 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 a sign that is ruled by Uranus. And is, when it's ruled by Uranus, it's a planet that's far away. So you learning how to detach from what no longer served you. So for the next three weeks, it's going to be quite interesting for you because there may not be any steps. It's more of like, oh, this is what I'm going to be doing. Oh, wow. It turned out well. Okay, next. So this is where you're going to be at. You're going to be in a space of creating what you are feeling. Does, does that make sense? I hope so. So it's like if I feel good, then I'm going to create on that. But if I don't feel good, I'm going to eliminate that. So you're going to be really in your feelings, but in a detached way. Y'all yeah, yeah, got me. All right. Virgo, you have the four of wands in reverse. And that doesn't talk about anything in the external world. This talks about more of your internal world. It's 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 going wild up in there. It's very it's just, all right. So some of you guys may be feeling yourself, right? And so you've been feeling sexy and things like that, but you're not really letting other people know. So you're wearing sexier things. So I do see some of you guys in a space of feeling sexy. So that's where this hot stuff comes up. So some of you guys may also have just started dating. So you feeling like, all right, I'm the shit, but do be careful because this also is a circus to me, right? So some of you guys may be a little bit confused about what's happening internally like your mind is not allowing you to ground yourself right now in the choices that you're making so internally you're confused about what's happening again the first message was for some people the second message is for somebody else you guys know i give like three or four messages pick what goes for you so your mind is yes zeus <laughs> Your mind is um, not allowing you to make choices right now because you kind of in a space of not trusting yourself. You feel like everything that comes up may be silly again because this to me is a circus. So what I want you, um, Virgo, to think about is what actions are you going to take? Because four is about stability, right? So now, if you're feeling sexy, how are you going to allow that to? be shared how are you going to share that with the world right because this is again the card is in reverse so virgo how are you going to share your sexiness with the world and feel good about it so to stabilize your new look right for others of you what actions are you going to take to move away from the space of being confused so that you can be able to live your best life right some of you guys are going to work and not happy anymore. And so are you going to make that choice to feel happy at work so that you can continue to go? Or are you going to shift that? So that's what Mercury is bringing to you. And again, just be careful for you. I'm getting also some of you guys um, hot heated arguments, right? Because some people is probably trying to play you or something like that. And you just like, nah, you catching it. So just be careful again with Mercury retrograde because I could see some of you guys getting into some type of altercation. All right, who got questions? 
Who got questions? Because I got answers. Then we're going to go into Libra. Oh, I got it at the question deck. <laughs> All right, we doing good, y'all. We doing good. If you guys didn't hear the first message, I pulled out um, a card. Forgiveness, that's the message for the next three weeks. And then the other one is love like people aren't total assholes. So I post these up because, I mean, <laughs> hey, Brandy. Oh, you. How's your daughter? Oh, I'll be looking down here, guys. I, I know. Bear with me, all right? All right, Keisha, what is this current guy I'm dating going to turn into something serious? Oh, you know what deck I'm using for that question because that's a yes or no. Hey, guys. <laughs> I got yes and no's. I got time frame and I got angel messages. I love this deck. All right, so if you have, again, if you have any questions, any yes or no questions, let me know. All right, so... Keisha Prince. Um, can you give me his initial? Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions. Damn, and I gave you guys good messages when it came to um, Mercury and Aquarius. But it's alright, because I'm not going to worry about that. Whatever message, whoever was there, we got the messages that we needed. Don't forget to like the video. Keisha, what's his uh, initials? DG Eloise I just spoke to your mother yeah Amelia I just spoke to your mother um the other day <laughs> she had us dying all right oh we coming in with the questions yes finally y'all because y'all be having me here dry like do y'all got any questions and they be like cricket all right DG DG let's see Is this current guy, DG, that I'm dating turning into something serious? Oh, we got yes with an exclamation point. And Zeus and them said it too. We got yes with an exclamation point. I mean, I don't even have to tell you, but this says yes. And it also talks about um, stability, right? It's like he allows you to feel like a goddess and be your true self. So like you true, you can actually like, you know, you can be your true, true self. What that means, like, you know, um, not having your hair done. I'm not saying that you wake up trying to have your hair done or anything like that. No, but what I'm trying to say is that you feel very authentic around him. And so this can turn into something. Remember, again, free will, you had the choice to say that you want to be with him or not. But this definitely can turn into something serious. All right. Amy, will I be happy going back to work? <laughs> will Amy be happy going back to work? Then these cars come in time, right? It's in reverse, but it says don't stop. So right now, you it's something that you're still contemplating of going to work but when the time comes for you to go back to work if you have to then you will but right now what spirit is saying is to focus on yourself right now and do some type of thinking like what is it about that job that makes you want to go back or how did you take this break right because you got the word reconsider so reconsider and don't stop in reverse don't stop meaning don't stop your ambition or your ability to feel like you're not a creator or that you don't have anything to offer but at the same time reconsider going back to work or like what else can you be doing at this current time to fulfill you and make you happy if obviously we asking this question right <laughs> So, um, Spirit is saying that you're very talented, it's all up to you, and you know a lot of people that will support you, so it's all about you picking something that's going to make you happy. And if that means moving into a space where your career is going to be, then allow that to sink in. All right, Eloise, should I open up and finally let him in my heart? Can you... <laughs> 
Eloise, give me his um initials. He's a Capricorn. Capricorn and a Capricorn? What? That's a lot of Capricorn. Should I play today for midday? <laughs> I love my sister. All right, Eloise, what's his initials? PC. All right. The angels and archangels, thank you so much for being here, protecting us and guiding us. When it comes to Eloise and PC, should she open up and allow him to provide love, intimacy, and compliment her? It said no. Maybe you was right this whole time. And that's no with an exclamation point. Because the other no is like, no. But ask another question. This no is like, no. And, and Spirit is saying, maybe this is, um, you've been, that you've been pretty much right the entire time about that. But at the same time, he has been the one to help you focus more on who you are and what you truly want in your life. So... And also, uh, letting go of this energy with this answer will open up space for the person who might have been blocked because of this energy. Reflection, Keisha, reflection. Mm -hmm. All right, Liatis said, oh, Letty. Letty, by the way, I did your video. It's coming this, um, this afternoon, all right? It said, is a real estate offer that was just given to me a good investment for Letty Garcia, Letty Garcia when it comes to the real estate offer was that a good investment you got don't stop as well so and it's saying is um, that it's a, a chance for you to choose a new direction when it comes to this offer so this was a good offer for you and then for you to keep keep everything in mind and if it if it recently happened within the last two weeks i do want you to wait right because with mercury retrograde um there's some stuff that might be missing again communications might not be clear so if you um first ask your spirit trust yourself don't trust me and allow your spirits to guide you and make the choice after the 21st when mercury is going direct because then that's when you can start seeing what you might not have been seeing when the rec um the retrograde was happening because some stuff get hit and then we miss like you know we we hear things and it might not be what the person truly has said and then some stuff for you may not have been written so you want to make sure that everything gets written down and whatever they're promising that they're going to give it to you all right <laughs> well yeah Eloise but you, you, you can't run from everybody forever you know what I mean we all we all need a little love and compassion e even me open up girl open up alright and then I have Liatis for midday they're angels and archangels when it comes ah! All right, you got don't stop. Go play for midday, all right? Go play your numbers for midday. He does treat you like a queen. Ow. Go ahead, Keisha. Ow. All right, Eloise, successful in your department. You have the yes. You will be successful in your department um and again but you are a loner so you're going to be successful and you may i mean can you make one friend so you can celebrate make one call me i'll celebrate with you via camera but you have to celebrate your endeavors with people all right 
can't keep that for yourself. I know you celebrate with your kids too, but I'm gonna need you to get a little grown up friend of yours and then just go out to eat or something like that because you are gonna be successful in this department, all right? All right, yes, let the communication is the key. Why is my energy like this? In what sense, Seychelle? When you say, why is your energy like this? Um, who my aunt is here? What, will my energy change soon? Is, is a tad much. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let me ask that. And then that's going to be like a yes or a no. No new friends? Well, you know what? Aquarius season is for new friends. So you may have some friends that are going to be actually cool. Tia, como tu esta? Oh, my aunt from Cuba is on here. Ah! So at right now, Seychelles, your energy is going to be the same because you haven't been able to look... Um, deeper within yourself i know that we've been doing work and you have been looking deep but there's more stuff to dig in so right now your energy is that way so that you can be able to clear up what you don't want to continue to happen over and over again when it comes to especially at this current time the communication maybe your choice of communication hasn't been clear to others so take this time to retrieve back and when you retrieve back you can then move forward but for the next three weeks um your energy is going to still be somewhat the same should you choose to stay that way or should you choose to raise your vibration and release you got the tools so you can change your energy at any given time but if you want to stay in this energy it, it, it will be the same for the next three weeks all right so let's go back into libra libra you have the hermit in reverse so right now for you they want you to sit back there's a lot of transformation that is happening for you so if you haven't had a chance to ever meditate libra this is the time to just sit down and do nothing <laughs> no aquarius <laughs> i can't aquarius they aquarius is they are they sketchy no they're not they just a little bit distance <laughs> Voy a preguntar porque yo quiero ir para Cuba también. <laughs> All right, let me not look at the comments because then I get distracted. All right, so Libra, you have the ability right now to tap into just like um Leo to tap Leo and Libra LL to tap into your intuition as deep as you want. Music is going to help you do that as well. So if you're into sound frequency, if you're into sound bowl healing. Um, that would be great for you to do within the next two to three weeks. It's going to help you move from the space that you have been in spiritually. So for you, um, Mercury is bringing in spiritual changes for you. And this is a major arcana card. And what that means is that it's something that's life changing. So for the next three weeks, this um, I'm hearing one event that's going to be life changing for you. And if that just means for you to sit down for five minutes and stay still like this for five minutes alone, just that thinking about, um, positive things, right? Not positive things. Okay. Thinking about something that is grand to you. Like, all right. So you want to be able to feel, and it, this is internal stuff, so it's not immaterialistic. So it's not, oh, I want to manifest a house. No, this is about internal. Um, I want to feel, every time I talk to this person, I want to feel good talking to this person. And if you sit there for five minutes and just think that that transformation is going to happen for you, but you have to really sit still. That's what I can say for you. The next three weeks, try your best to stay away from people and then just be to yourself so you can understand what your energy is. And use music to heal. Y'all could all go to Cuba with me. My aunt is lit. <laughs> Listen. All right. So we have Scorpio. Scorpio right now, you have judgment in reverse. Look at this, Scorpio. There's a lot that you don't want to let go of. 
and there's a lot that you haven't been saying to people right now and so for you right now some of you guys um I do have to say this message. Some of you guys feel like y'all lost your family or some of you guys literally have lost family members. Um, and so there's two things that's happening. You haven't been able to be yourself because you haven't connected with the family members that have left. Um, and for others of you, you your, your spiritual side is calling you and you just don't feel like being bothered right now. <laughs> Spiritually, you don't feel like being bothered. And so... Things are happening differently for you in a sense that like you're not um, wanting to believe in yourself. So the next three weeks is asking you to remove, right? Because the next step is the world card. So you want to remove yourself from being judgmental to yourself and for thinking that you can't amount to anything really because of the losses that has happened so that could have been literally your family members are here and then you just don't speak to them anymore anymore and so what is bringing to you is that sense of loneliness and so in reverse you just feel like that you just feel like you're crumbling inside and that could be the case but just remember that you're the um the sign of transformation so you being a sign of transformation this rebirth is only going to take you to the next step because the world card is when all is popping when all all hands are down and all choices are um in front of you so allow yourself to use tools to get through this stage because it is a, a heavy one for you don't judge yourself i mean i could say that but who am i to tell you not to judge yourself we all do it to ourselves which is crazy all right Sagittarius Sagittarius you have and I just talked about that being right next to Scorpio you have the death card and the death card it just talks about you have for you I feel a sense of relief whatever has happened to you has transformed you in a way for you to become the phoenix coming from the ashes and and that's in and you haven't even sh you haven't even shown people the transformation that you have made because internally you went through some shit so by you going through this transformation you allowed yourself you allow things to be left in the past your emotions are being balanced with the temperance card here and you you're just um ignited from the inside we haven't seen it yet sagittarius so forgive people if they haven't seen it yet you know you're gonna show us soon but right now you're learning your new energy and that transformation was deep for you but you come out like the phoenix and a fire phoenix so that means you being a fire sign you was able to run through your emotions okay tia te quiero mucho Y'all come with me to Cuba. We do a big trip. We call it a cultural trip. All right. So for you, Sagittarius, what I'm getting with Mercury is just you learning your new energy and learning how to communicate with yourself from within to allow that transformation, allow that transformation to show up around March and April. And you might even be working out. Guys, while I'm closing my eyes, it's because that yeah, yeah, heavy today. That energy is coming in. All right. And in reverse, Capricorn, you have the ace of swords. And Capricorn, right now, you lit. Like, look at this person. Y'all see that? Not only are you Capricorn protected by your spirit guides but you're also mentally prepared for anything that's coming right now and it's in reverse so you're not showing your creative superpower that just um ignited you so what does that mean that you mentally have been transforming yourself little by little and then you're strong at what you're going to be projecting into the world right now so capricorn what mercury is bringing in for you is learning how to stabilize your thoughts and then bringing them down and grounding it right sorry <laughs> i'm looking here for the camera to see where to put it and grounding it so continue to do what you've been doing if you've been spiritually 
cleansing yourself, taking your baths and things like that, or just really connecting. Like you don't even have to be meditating because some of us, I'll help you out with meditation, but some of us have not had the ability to sit and meditate. And meditation is just being in the present moment. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a blank mind. No, it's being in the present moment. What are you doing right now? My fingers are, I don't even know what to say, but see how I'm focused? <laughs> So right now, you being in the, in the present moment, you're going to be able to capture those thoughts and ideas and and create the projects that you want. So for you, it's a lot of believing that, the, that you have the ability to bring into fruition whatever strong thoughts and ideas you have. Because remember, you just finished coming from being shaken up for the last, I want to say, 10 years. So right now, this new aspect of everybody being in, a, in Aquarius and not being in Capricorn, you feel liberated and, and you also feel stronger after all the lessons that have been happening for you. Ooh. Today is strong. Okay. See? In reverse. Um, Aquarius, don't be signing nothing right now, Aquarius. I know that you see the money, but right now you see as in, it's in reverse review these contracts that are coming in for you some of you guys are doing spiritual contracts meaning that you're going into your dreams y'all know what i'm talking about aquarius y'all going into your dreams and y'all making these spiritual contact contracts and packs with people to come down here and back on earth and allow this to come into fruition by creating community so right now a lot of you guys are looking to create that community and some of you guys might be even getting some funds to create things in the community but with the retrograde look at the contracts um have witnesses right because there's only two people right here and so you want to make sure that you have witnesses of what is being said make sure things are being written down what is being promised to you and just don't sign nothing right now but remember one thing that if you are wanted and needed you will always get it so you don't have to second guess anything when somebody says that or if you don't sign this right now, then you're not going to have this gig or position or whatever. you the one that they need. And that goes for everybody. We're the one that people need. Even the spirit guys, they need us to bring in this message. So where the pack at? So at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you're assertive with yourself and know that these contracts is not going to go anywhere and this money is not going to go anywhere until, until after the retrograde because you're the one that they need. They came to look for you. Maybe you apply for the job, but at the end of the day, right? Stand strong, all right? So some of you guys, again, may be moving, signing a contract for your apartments. Others of you guys what, just have a lot going on, Aquarius. And it has to do with money, and it has to do with building, community, children. So y'all, Aquarius, y'all all in different sections, and you're starting to spread yourself out, and you're starting to recognize who you are. Don't forget who you are and know that money does not equal um, freedom. And I'm going to leave it at that because Aquarius is about freedom. So don't lock yourself in because the cash is good. Ooh, Pisces. Pisces, you have the, uh, the, trans, uh, the temperance, but it turns into the devil in reverse. And so right now... I don't know what you're doing or saying to yourself, but I want you to reconsider that because with Mercury and retrograde, it's going to ignite and it's really going to cause you to be in a space that you have not been in a very long time. And that means in a dark, dark space. And that could be happening for you so that you can clear that up. But if you start acting or dismissing these energies you can place yourself in a space of trouble so you want to make sure that with this the next three weeks that you consider the steps that you're taking and um i talk like this because um that spirit came in and is more of like aquarius be careful because you out of all people um could be um misunderstood and could have some type of friction with the law, right? Because Aquarius is about um, also not being, like, you know, freedom being like the little kid, the little teenager. So if you decide to act upon your low vibrations, um, it can get you into a space where 
the authorities might come so that's not for everybody but for some of you pisces you want to be careful all right for others of you if you're in a relationship and you don't feel like it's going to go anywhere and you know that it's not going to go anywhere let it go let it go because it's only going to bring in more of that energy that you don't want more of that um low vibration energy so you guys are going to be going through a lot of transformation before the next three weeks and it's one that is heavy so i want you to prepare yourself for that all right so a couple of you guys that have some heavy energy that you 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 are being shown so you can let it go so don't be afraid to attack your shadow self and face some stuff and some habits that need to be let go of all right y'all it was a, a a rough morning but a beautiful one because you guys still stayed in um i'll post the cards since the messages were cut off i don't know how i'm gonna talk about this aquarius shit, but i love y'all